Sometimes we forget the power we possess Rely on everything but ourselves to reach success That's when shit goes down The mirror's our biggest threat But at the same time our strongest weapon If we feed the clip And I don't get it Why the fuck you not doing it? Ammunition infinity But you just ain't into it Hello everybody, Mr. Prez here with the second episode of Technical Analysis for Beginners. Um, today's episode is going to be pretty quick. I'm going to teach you how to spot the um, beginning of a reversal, you know, whether it be start of an uptrend, start of a downtrend, using no indicators, simply using price action and volume, because I don't, I don't like indicators. Um, I believe that it it's best to just use um, non-lagging price and volume. Those are the only two leading indicators you have, so why not just get good with those? Today's topic is going to go over exhaustion volume. So real quick, exhaustion volume, the basis idea is that at the end of a downtrend, you will see one final push, a large volume burst of all the last, you know, the people who are chasing, those who want to get out are getting out. Those who want to short have shorted. Um, at the top of an uptrend, those are the buyers that have pushed, pushed, pushed. Um, they've gotten out. They've taken their profits. You know, this is the last group of momentum, the last batch of momentum coming in to that trend. Just right here on Ulta, we can see um, this uptrend right here. You've got you know, uh, one day in a row, two days in a row, three really wide range green bars in a row with volume just continuously going up. So that tells you that by that third day, if you come across any resistance after having increasing momentum after that third day, there's a pretty good chance that you might not have enough juice left in the tank to get over that resistance level. Um, and even right here, so you've got your exhaustion, your bullish exhaustion volume right here, starts your downtrend. So, okay, you're like, when do I know that this downtrend is about to end? You know, it's your same thing. You've got your igniting volume on the sell-off, uh, continuation, and then at the very end, you've got your exhaustion push. So what, hap what this means and what happens is you've got this last final exaggerated move down. You know, you've got a gap, it gaps down, you know, very slightly. Um, but you put in all this volume at the at the end of the day saying, you know, those who wanted to short, shorted, those who wanted to get out, got out. And that there are simply no sellers left to keep the downtrend going, you know. And then you, usually you get a doji, you get some kind of reversal signal, you know, take it over the high and you just keep playing. Um, another example, I'm sure you can find one. Let's see, yes. you know, right here, perfect example. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green candles in a row, literally seven. So, and what's, you know, what do you notice about the volume? Well, A, the reversal is pretty weak to begin with, you know, that's irrelevant, but you've got increasing volume pretty much all the way up until this guy. So once you notice that, that's when you start, you know, kind of being cautious about your position. You know, you're six green candles up. You've got a higher, even higher volume push with a topping tail now. And then, you know, eventually you start your, start your move down, um, you know, so, um, that's really the base idea. I'll try to throw in a couple more examples just real quick. Um, you know, you've got your sell off right here. You've got your ignition volume. You've got your downtrend and you've got your volume increase at the end. Take it over the high and your money bags. You know what I mean? So, do another example right here. You've got your downtrend. 
you've got your increased volume you know it's marginally higher up on this one right here that tells you the sellers who wanted to get out especially after this big exaggerated move down this gap those who wanted to get out got out the sellers ran out of gas and what happens you get a almost 20 point move just off that reversal right there so that just about does it guys quick recap exhaustion volume you're looking for those exaggerated volume uh, bars at the end of the, or beginning sorry not the beginning you're looking for those exaggerated volume bars at the end of a move to potentially clue you in and signal that trend could be reversing um, thanks for watching you know comment down below make sure you let me know what kind of stuff you want to watch what kind of things you want to learn and I will do my best to get around to making that video for you um, charting software is trend spider I do have a referral link I will link down in the comments if you would like to try it out there's a seven day free trial so I hope you had a good time watching this hope you learned something until next time See you then.